Alright, what is up my friends? Welcome, we're playing more Crazy War of the Spark modern decks. We've played a lot of crazy decks today so far. We've done pretty well with them too, actually. We've played uh, Legend Taxes, and this deck didn't do too good. Cool idea, didn't really work. Uh, we played Killer Germs Black White Devotion deck, 5-0. We've played the Nimbusit Reborn deck, 4-1. If you missed all these, they're all on YouTube. Go check them if you're watching them on YouTube now, just look for a previous video. And uh, now we're playing this deck. This deck is... Something else. Now this deck is uh, Connolly Woods' deck. Connolly Woods streams, of course. If you don't know who Connolly Woods is, he uh, played in the Pro Tour for a few years, and now he streams usually during the night. He's like a nighttime streamer. Cool dude. He also dances and stuff while he streams. I like him a lot. Connolly's great. So if you haven't seen, seen Connolly stream, go check it out. He's been playing this deck on stream now for like a week, working on it, and I think it looks awesome. So I wanted to give it a spin, but credit where credit is due, of course. So... This is a deck that is based around Narset, Parter of Veils. Narset, of course, says that each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. It's obviously good against Brainstorm and card draw spells, things like that. Good and standard against Chemistry's Insight. We get it. We're going much deeper than that, all right? We're looking to break the symmetry of the card big time. Days undoing. Each player shuffles in their hand, draws seven cards. Obviously, they can't draw seven cards. This is a mind twist, time, uh, one-sided time twister. And while the turn ends, they go to their turn with no cards in hand. And that's pretty cool. So we are playing Days Undoing. We are playing Narset, Parter of Veils. Also playing a couple other cards that work well with Narset in Lore Broker. Which ends up being tapped, tap, draw, discard, and your opponent discards. And then Vendillion Click, um, you uh, basically just thought sees. Yeah, I guess they draw one. Sure, whatever. They draw one card. Who cares? Notion Thief stands in for our Narset proxy, um, where if we don't have a Narset, this works too. We have a Notion Thief in play, cast days in doing, similar idea, Ed, but you draw even more cards. So, a little fragile, but it's our backup plan for Narset. And uh, the cool thing is that the problem with a combo like this is, what if I draw days in doing and I don't draw a Narset? Well... That's how we're playing all of our pitch cards, hence the name of the deck, Pitch Blue. Playing four copies of Disrupting Shoal, which is Force of Will-esque, of course. And then three copies of Commandeer. We literally get to steal their spells. So, they cast a Karn. That's our Karn now, right? Deck is obviously full of blue cards. You know, the deck is, you know, uh, what, 40 blue cards here? There's a lot of blue cards here. Even some of our lands are blue, which is cool. And... Of course, we're drawing lots of cards. We get the Commandeer stuff. We also have Snapback as a free spell. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, playing four Border Posts. It keeps our, our blue card count up for our Commandeers. It's also like a dual a workable dual land, as well as a, uh, a Narset hit, which is cool. Uh, we got some Bounce Spells and Counter Spells, Remand, Unsubstantiate, Void Snare, Spell Snare, Spell Pierce. All cards to try and win the early game. Um, we have... Makokoro, Center of the Sea, and Gaia Reach Sanitarium, both cool cards to use on our opponent's turn with the Narset in play. Uh, one Blast Zone in the main deck. A lot of basics. And then, I think the deck struggles a little bit against like fast creature rushes, so I added an Explosives to the deck, and a, a second Explosives to the sideboard. And it's also got some Damnations in the board. Unmoored Ego, Spell Snare, Relic, Visions, all the usual stuff you'd expect. Uh, blast Zone, etc., etc. Two on Mord Ego, one Ashiok. This card is cool. And, um... And, yeah. So, first rule of a deck with only Narset out, loot in your upkeep. With only Thief or both, loot in the draw step. Well, we're going to figure everything out. Because I haven't played, uh... I haven't played this deck before. Just looks sweet, and we're going to try it out. Let's go. We're on a bit of, heat, a, bit of a heater. I'm not gonna lie. We are nine and one in our last ten matches. Let's see if we can change that. Let's go. Well, power, you have a six month badge, so you've been you've been sub, sub for at least six months. I always play snow covered lands. Get up thinking, you know? I imagine in this deck it would struggle mightily in beating humans, but that's just modern. You can't beat everything, you know? 
I just want to commandeer some stuff. I want to commandeer a car and liberate it. I want to take that for my own. Blue black scred. Let's go. I am amped for this deck. Amped. Point against Funky Monkey. Funky Monkey. Doc, 313 sub. Welcome back, my friend. Only better than a new sub as a returning sub, and you are great. Power, I appreciate that, though. I appreciate that a lot. I obviously have a lot of YouTube viewers who can't always catch the stream, and the fact that my YouTube viewers choose to come here and subscribe even when they barely watch on the stream is awesome. Thank you so much. One mulligan six, we're going to keep... Hand sort of looks like a, uh, a cube draft gone wrong, but... Mm. Looting. What's, what looting deck is this? Blood Crypt makes me think it's just Hollow One. Hollow One seems really hard. Dredge also seems hard, honestly. Pentad Prism, Collective Brutality, oh boy. This might be some like Goro's Vengeance deck, which I guess is actually fine if we like all these counter spells and stuff. Uh, I would like to border post, but I'm just gonna play Delta and Seiko. I think a spell snare seems kind of important. That's true. We can just hold border post for a pitch spell. That's true. We don't have to border post. Watery Grave. D20, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks, sub. Appreciate that. You great. Explosives. Alright, we are going to leave up Spell Snare. And then we can just click them. Lore, Bro Lore Broker isn't doing much at the moment. It actually helps them a lot. So without a Narset in play, Lore Broker is not too good. Discard Emmercool. Simeon Spirit Guide, Gora's Vengeance. Not today, my friend. You lose everything. I lose nothing. Shuffle the whole graveyard back in. They have one card in end. Let's get this show on the road. I do love Spell Snare. Spell Pierce, too. Wow. Uh, we're going to get Click going. I recorded a video for Monday, uh, last night, for CoolStuffInc.com. <sighs> it's like sort of counter spell pierce, and they might have like Through the Breach or the Raise Boar. Tannen, thanks my friend, appreciate it. I'm gonna spell pierce this. But yes, I recorded a video for uh, for Monday on CoolStuffInc.com uh, last night. I was playing the Neoform Grizzlebrand combo deck, and I played against this blue deck, and it was the funniest thing ever. I put Allosaurus Rider in play, and they just like unsummoned it. And then I put it in play again, and they just like unsummoned it, or whatever, or remanded it. It was just really, really funny. Yeah, Tanim, this deck seems dope, right? 
Why would I draw step click when I have a, a spell pierce in my end? There's no reason to, to be taking down your counter magic. You only draw step uh, click a small percent of the time. It depends on if you don't have any answers in your hand for what they have, you aren't interested in bluffing anything, like you end step click a lot. All right, so I guess we want, what happens if I commandeer a Goro's Vengeance? I guess I get the creature, right? That's so cool. All right, and then Spell Snare seems great. Relic seems great. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're gonna have like non graveyardy stuff, but uh, Engulf the Shore is gone. Explosives is gone. I need to have a click in my yard, but they're already targeting the thing. I don't know. Um, I guess Void Snare seems bad. Snapback also seems bad. Seems fun. I think. I don't think I want Unmoored Ego. Why are we playing Unsubstantiate over Narset's Reversal? Because this bounces creatures and permanents? Or just creatures? Vision Skeens? That's a little much. It's a little much. Turn target legendary creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Pony Mulligans, easy keep. We have Commandeer, we got Days Undoing, and Spell Snare. A little uh, backdoor graveyard hate here. We draw one swamp, that's interesting. Where am I Narset at? Yeah, Defying Fate, we don't use words like that here. So if I commandeer this, it doesn't really do much. All right, I think we just, I think we spell snare. We're obviously scared of like Gore's Vengeance, I mean, uh, uh, Through the Breach or the Boar. I'm just gonna spell snare this. That's a lot of lands. Um, I'm just gonna play this and say go. So I wish I drew a blue card. Because then I can commandeer whatever they play and then just days and doing next turn. Spell Snare is dope. I do like Spell Snare. I'm a Spell Snare fan. Brutality. Duress. Alright. How about draw Narset next turn? That'd be cool. It's a common deer. That's pretty good. That was a good draw. Days and doing plus new Teferi is pretty good. That is that is kind of nice. 
Tab, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Getting to days I'm doing as a time stop is pretty cool. It doesn't time stop? Oh, if it's your turn, end the turn. Got it. That would be really cool. Tab, no problem, my friend. Thanks for seven. Welcome back. Border post. New to fairy with spell queller. New to fairy with spell queller. It's also kind of cool. It's the brutality, tormenting voice, discarding and Goro's vengeance. Sure. Well, we do have two blue cards in our hand. That's something. Um, I think we're just acting for one, honestly. I'm not, I'm not activating this lore broker, lore broker, so. Pants, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. You great. Purpose of border post is literally right here. This is it. So I can commandeer the land. Alright. So they are escalating. They are killing my lore broker and duressing me. They still have four cards in their hand. I guess this is fine. Took my days undoing. Pentad Prism off a of spirit guide, two mana in hand. Ugh, alright. Well, there's a Narset. That's really good for us. Ship the Narset. Narset almost guaranteed to find us a blue card for Commandeer. Days of doing Narset Shoal. I mean... Days Undoing is a combo, so I guess we're going to take the Days Undoing, even though he might need to pitch it, but that is really good. So, all right, your turn. Do your worst, I guess. We have Relic and Commandeer. All right, they have the Raised Boar, so that is not good. Um, I poured out all my Bounce Spells. Maybe I'm an idiot. I should draw a card response. That's stupid. Uh, I guess we're gonna like knack, we're gonna axe their entire hand. So 
I'm just gonna pop this relic. Lore broker. The question is, can we beat the six six? That's kind of like the uh, the actual question we're asking here. Um, I mean, days in doing, we end the turn. So we need to play probably just everything in our hand. We're not going to activate Narset, I suppose. We really did cut all of our ways to deal with the Narset, didn't we? Now we still have two unsubstantiates. So I guess we'll try and make sure we have two mana up for our turn. So we'll cast Lore Broker. No, we can't cast Lore Broker. All right, forget Lore Broker. I guess we just look for a one. All right, sure, we'll minus. Commandeer Relic. All right. So, Relic. We didn't play a land yet, right? No, we, played, we, did, we, did, we did play a land. Okay, so we're not playing the we're not border posting. All right, this is fine. So we'll just days in doing end the turn and try and draw a um, the bounce spell. We did, we did it. We're great. We're awesome. The coolest. Also drew commandeer and shoal. So. Chalice on one. Does it even matter? We could shoal it off remand. I don't think it actually matters. We only we have so few one drops in our deck. Another commandeer, sure. Let me just ship. That's game. We can't hard cast Commandeer, but it's also an option too. That was fun. That was definitely an interesting first game there. Uh, no Commandeers, but pretty cool. If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing Connolly Woods' Pitch Blue deck. A deck I stole from him as I watched the stream last night. It looked really, really cool. Uh, based around Narset. And days in doing and pitch spells. Super cool. One up. Border post. It's a blue card. You can pitch it to your blue spells. You can find it off Narset. That's it. That's, just, that's all there is to it. Right, we're going to keep. And it's not great, but we have our combo. A little slow here on the draw, but. I mean, you, you can board it. You can obviously just play it as a land, too, but it's in there because it's a blue card. Unsubstantiate. I mean... I'm not sure what deck goes Forest Birds of Paradise in this format. Unless it's like Ponza or something. That would suck. Oh, boy. Wouldn't Ponza just play Lana Rolves, though? Or, like, it's not Lana Rolves, play, like, Noble Hierarch or something? Oh, God, yeah, it's some Ponza deck or something? This, this is... This is probably bad for us. The card Stone Rain is pretty actively good against what we're doing right now. Because all of our cards cost three. Man, if this thing can only bounce lands, that'd be so sweet. Scavenging ooze. Okay. Commandeering a stone rain would be nice.
Do I even get a non basic? I don't think I do. I see black cards in the deck. Whatever. I guess we're gonna just try and ups unsubstantiate whatever they play. Just buy a little time. Like, they have a bear at the moment. Yeah, Notion, Notion Thief is the only actual black card in the deck. We're a ways from being, that being a relevant card, so... Chandra Torch of Defiance. That is a problem. Yeah, so on the draw here, we kept kind of a slow hand, and they've got this Birds of Paradise Utopia Stroll. Pretty crazy draw here, which is not good for us. They didn't play a lands, they have three spells in their hand. If I, thought, if, the, if I thought their only relevant spell was Chandra, I could click them, but we're just going to Nars it here. Get to minus it, which is good. It does seem tough once our opponent like resolves some things that we just don't really have ways to like remove stuff. Shoal isn't really that good. It's better than second days in doing those, so... Nim it went four and one. Deck was pretty sweet. If you, missed, if you missed it, it'll be up on YouTube. Ooh, we getting bolted? No. Yes, I played Cave Dan's 5 0 Nib Mizzet list. Glory Bringer? Damn. That's a magic card. I think we're going to concede. Uh, we just like can't beat this stuff that's already in play. Alright, let's go to the next game. Let's not reveal any more about our deck. Yeah, like, them putting stuff in play is kind of bad for us. I feel like... What do you want here? Notion Thief seems pretty, pretty mopey. Engulf the Shore is like... Okay, I think I want an explosives. It's also like damnation is bad against Ponza. They like actually playing Ponza. Um, I mean, commandeer is kind of cool. Maybe just bringing like commandeer explosives. Also cutting me up, uh, cutting me up, uh, the black cards so. It, means we only get islands, which is good against Blood Moon, so... Yeah, let's try this, I guess. Yeah, Blast Zone's cool. It's kind of tough, uh... Kind of tough... Um, against the uh, the LD deck. All right, we have a disrupting shoal, a commandeer, reman. Yeah, keep this in. Yeah, most of our things we're looking for here. I mean, Connolly was only playing one in golf, so that's what I'm playing. Perfect hands to stretch, but. It's not bad.
Blood Crypts. Okay. Molten Rain. Molten Rain. Kill your land and then you feel the pain. Molten Rain. Just gonna remand it. Try to find our third land here. That's a border post. Try and find our third land here. Alright, well... Oh, this is gross. I don't want to pitch a Day's Undoing or Narset. Um, I could commandeer. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, maybe we'll just commandeer it next turn. Alright, we'll border post. No. Snow lands or basic lands? Just play with on one, two, actually. Yeah, I actually like it a lot. Play this on one. We're going to commandeer their stone rain, and then we'll blow up their birds. What if they cast a Chandra here? <gasps> we draw a land now, we can Narset and Days and doing in the same turn. Commandeer is gas. Alright, here we go. Land. Damn it. Still good, though. Actually, it's awkward because I can't leave up Remand and cast Narset. That's super awkward. Uh, that's fine, though. We'll just Narset. I mean, I could pop Explosive and just leave up, leave up Remand. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Try and draw a land next turn. We also draw, we to, we draw two card off remand too, so. Man, stealing Chandra is something else. Spell Pierce. Land. Blast Zone. No! Yes, that works. Okay. We're good. Okay. Uh, add some red skis. A little Narset skis. And uh, we're not going to uptake because we're just going to draw our cards anyway. So. A little time twisteries. Your turn. Oh, look, another Commandeer. This deck is so sweet. <laughs> What's up? You won. Yeah, we did. We stole their Chandra. What are you doing that hurt? Wait, you actually stole their Chandra? He stole it with this card. You gain control of target non-creature spell. So it's a Planeswalker, so we stole it. Now it's our Chandra. Pretty cool, right? You should use that We're against Tron. Planeswalker's a thing when that card... I want to use it against Tron. I want to steal a car, and it'd be awesome. That's what I was saying earlier. Or an Ulamog. 
Well, you can't steal the mall. It's a non-creature spell. A card and Ugin work, so. So, so wait, you can actually, s- you can steal Ugin? Yeah, it's a non-creature spell. Wait. Oh, this blast zone. Ken. Wait, Ken. Can you actually steal an Emrakul? Is Emrakul a creature? Yeah. Then no, you can't steal it. <laughs> it's pretty simple, bud. Creature, non-creature. Uh, Alright, so... Wait, is Emma cool a creature? Yeah. You just said yes. You no, just answered that question. Yeah. I meant to know. Alright, what are you no. doing, bud? <laughs> well, we gotta go. What's a non-creature? Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to the ball or something. Or something. Look, How do I look? You're out of my hair, so... Something. Look like you're about to leave. Yay! I'll play in hockey tonight. What is that? I'm on your date. Go talk to your date. Your date's supposed to come, maybe. It's a special someone dance. That's right. It's the special someone dance. That's why I'm not going. <laughs> um, uh, we can keep this. Let's throw a land. Wooded Futils. Money says, I played against you last night with this deck when you were playing. Neoform was the only match you won. Yeah, Money, you destroyed me last night. If you want to see that deck, it's in my video on Monday uh, for CoolStuffInc.com. I was playing the Grizzlebrand Neoform deck against this deck, and I just cast Allosaurus Rider and got it remanded and wanted to die. Yes, that's Nicole, my fiancé, and my stepson, John. All right, so we got to leave up Spell Pierce, unfortunately. I could just snap back the birds. To buy us a turn, like a second border post. I don't hate that, honestly. Yeah, I actually like that. So I can turn on remand. This is mad aggressive, but. Hobbitses. Filthy Hobbitses. Yes, you can always tell, tell Nicole how pretty she looked next time you see her. Ugh. No play. Just birds. Alright, alright. Definitely need some sort of card draw engine here. Spell snare. We need a little help here. We got all fluff and no pizzazz. I now I'm starting to see why Connolly made a border post command for a stream. It's a blue card that pitches to your blue pitch spells. That's also a land. All right, so they have one mana up. If we don't. Spell Pierce now, we may never get to. So I'm going to Spell Pierce this. It's also a 3 for Shoal, yes. Just a cute way to get more blue cards into your deck. 2 drop, 2 drop, 2 drop, 2 drop. Tilt. That's a land. I only have 3 cards left. Hopefully they flood. Kokoro, center of the sea, the howling mine land. Each player draws a card. Obviously very good with the Narset in play. Not great without it. Stone Rain. Well, unfortunately we're going to remand this if they have another, uh, another land in their hand. It's not great for us, but... Ooh, that's also bad because it, it means they have all spells, so... No, they, they have some... T- Ooh. That's pretty good. Okay. So now I get to commandeer their Stone Rain out of their Utopia Sprawl land. That's cool. We'll pitch Unsubstantiate. S- no, I'll pitch Snapback Spell Snare. I'll take that.
Alcohol. Fifteen months. You great. Keep it up. What is your favorite pet deck for each format as of late? Anything new and exciting? Uh, I like the blue red wizards deck I played on stream in standard uh, last week. It's on YouTube if you missed it. And in modern, I'm not really sure, honestly. All right, we're gonna click. Rakok rolling just isn't very good in this current scenario. We're already down cards anyway, so let's see what they're working with. Oh my god. Tracker, Molten Rain, Inferno Titan, Glorybringer. Yikes. Uh, if I take any card, they might draw a land, but Tracker's also kind of unbeatable. Molten Rain ain't any, ain't any better, honestly. We gotta draw like Narset or something next turn or some sometime soon. I'm gonna take the tracker. I feel like we're just not beating tracker. Uh, Spellster is not great. Like, if we both draw cards, like, we need to do something, but I can't give them lands. Oh, I drew a land. Oh, we can't beat anything. Like, if I just... If this is a remand, great, but it's not. Uh... I'm just going to draw. Why is Spell Snare still in? Yeah, I mean, they, they played Scavenging Ooze in game one. Oh, I got to draw land here. Also, a Spell Snare can be pitched to a Shoal to counter a bird or something. So, oh man, they drew a Bolt. They drew an Arbor Elf. We are in worlds of trouble. Yeah, we're pretty dead. Yeah, I mean, we just can't beat Glorybringer or Inferno Titan, realistically. Can't commandeer either one of those, unfortunately. Commandeer could take creatures. Then... Then yeah, we'll be talking. Yes, Counterspell would be a huge upgrade for this deck, obviously. Just like old OG hardcore Counterspell. Alright, I mean, we are just dead. Alright. Um, that was kind of tough. Seems like a hard matchup. We just did a Chandra and it was dope. But, yeah, if Commandeer costs 6, even, even then the Glorybringer still gets us, so. Alright, 1-1. One -on -one. Oh yeah, if Commodore could take creatures, like, that'd be something. That would be something. Alright, let's try that one again. The thing is that Pons is mostly just a creature deck, and I don't think we line up well against creature decks. Just like, you know, Llanowar Elves, Tyrosh Tracker, Glorybringer, Inferno Titan is probably just a nightmare for us. 
We want to play against more spell-based deck. Uh, this is a hand of magic cards. We'll keep. Blood Crypt. Faith is living. Which Faithless Looting deck is this? Could be many. It is Dredge. Dredge seems also heinously bad for us. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can ever win. Like, they're also a creature deck, basically. They just have Blood Gas and Brides and Malagums and so on and so forth. I mean, like, we're making the good blood play of Spell Piercing a, uh, a Cathartic Union. I feel like it's just not going to matter at all. One of our moderators, please make a border post command. Let me just. We have one engulf, yes. Creeping chill, blood guest. Boy, that's a tough one. Uh, Narsa's passive is pretty bad against the dredge mechanic. Yeah, Narsa doesn't do anything against dredge, basically. Um, I guess we're bringing in relics, unmoored egos, I guess. Uh, Ashiok, spell snare. I mean, Commandeer doesn't do anything, because we're not really stealing it. I guess if we Commandeer a Cathartic Reunion, that's kind of gas. Um, so that's pretty cool. Thief seems bad. Like, Narset seems bad, too. They just, like, dredge their whole... If I cast Days in doing this, dredge their whole deck, right? I guess they shuffle, never mind. Uh, that's still fine, then, I guess. Like, these bounce spells are all really bad. Um, let's help your spell snare. We want click to clock them, but it just runs into Narc Amoeba. Uh, explosive seems bad. Cut a click, I guess? I'm gonna cut the scent area for a blast zone, and I kind of want the fourth commandeer for like I mean, unsubstantiate just seems awful. I'm gonna leave the click in. All right, we'll try this. This seems really difficult. Uh. I've sold out for almost three years. 
two more months to go. Coral, you the bomb, my friend. Risa, welcome back. What does the lore broker do? Each player draws a card and then discards a card. So the Narset in play, they just discard while you loot. We can keep this. It would be my impression that you could still dredge with a Narset in play. Because you're not actually drawing. It's a replacement effect. I don't know, though. Honestly. Put a most to five. Sweet. This is very good. We get to play Relic with Spell Pierce up. That's like the most ideal scenario ever, basically. I also have Narset Day. We have, we have, we're, we're, we're fully rolled up here, so. Yeah, that is a. Uh, why would you do that when I have a relic in play? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, I cast Narset. I'm taking down Spell Pierce and Relic Activation. I'm just a Lore Broker, I guess. Try and draw a lands key here. Nature's claim. All right, I'll buy a spell pierce on that. All right, Lando off the top. Done. Money. Minus Narset. Ashiok. All the hate. Love it. So now I want a Lore Broker on their turn. Probably... Or end step seems fine, honestly. Because I don't want them to be discarding with a dredge. Didn't even get to Ashi Ashiok them. Cool. Um... All right, we'll just do that again. That worked pretty well. We're gonna run that right back. That's what I'm thinking. Relic, Spell Pierce. It's all good, y'all. We do have four shoal for Commandeer, so we definitely have interaction. Uh, this hand is not gonna play, unfortunately. Sandus doesn't actually do anything. They mulligan to six, we're gonna mulligan two. They keep six. Oh, oh, this hand's bad. Our pitch cards get so much worse, though, the more we mulligan. They get to cathartic before I even get to do anything. I get to scry. I have three spell pierce and three spell snare. I'm going to mulligan. Oh no, we're gonna keep. Land on top. Mm. 
Bottom. Sure. Please, Cathartic next turn. Please. Stinkweed and Ancient Grudge? It's gonna have a tilt. Didn't draw a land. Think we're in trouble. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Creeping Chill, Amalgam, Narcomoeba, Bloodgast, Bloodgast, Stinkweed Imp. It's everything. Even if, it, if they do Cathartic, they're probably just dead. We had a dream. We had a chip in a chair. It didn't work out. That was tough. That was tough. Alright. One and two. One and two. Third round KO. Flawless victory. Didn't even play a spell. <sighs> Brutal. Brutal. Remember, everyone, my article's up on CoolStuffInc.com today. That's right. New article, CoolStuffInc.com. Rating Planeswalkers. Week 1 report card. All the, all the cards you saw play or didn't see play at SG Richmond last weekend. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. Planeswalker report card. Article up. Go check it out. Alright, on the play. Narset, Void Snare, Spell Pierce, Keep. Gemstone Caverns. Liquid Metal Coating. Somebody's carning. Imagine our spell pierce is gonna be good here, so. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's not even like that good against us when we only have like seven one drops, but two of them are in our hand, so. We'd only be keeping spell pierce for pitch spells. Blast Zone? Blast Zone's kind of cool. The Fairy's Puzzle Box? No. Should I be? What's that card do? Blued Moon. Okay. Um... I guess we'll get our swamp. Nice blood moon, lol. Oh, combo time. Come on, everybody, it's combo time. Should I minus or no? I have another Narset, sure. They have a bolt, whatever. Engulf the shore, days in doing. I don't want to reveal that we're. Yeah, what's the engulf the shore? Chalice on one again? Sure. Um, hmm. I guess we can't Void Snare. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, minusing that turn's fine. We're not going to minus this turn. We might even just, like, 
not pop it. Uh, puzzle box, artifact. Each player's draw step. That player puts the cards in their hand in the bottom and draws that many cards. It's expensive. You have two cards in hand. We can knock them down to one random card. Yeah, I think you want to do that. I'll just do it. I'll just play Lore Broker. I'll just play Lore Broker. So if we're going to minus Narset, what are we even trying to hit? I guess a Counterspell of some kind. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that works. Ramonette Bruins. Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah, I'll just bounce that. Actually, beat an ensnaring bridge. Yeah, we can bounce stuff. All right, so uh, I mean, Notion Thief is cool too, but you probably just want to. Hmm. Yeah, I want to get rid of that bridge too. All right, yeah, we're just gonna we'll loot, and then we'll days in doing. Hopefully, we draw land up the uh, the thing. All right, so discard whatever. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. And they discard a card. And now I daze in doing, and they'll have no cards in end. These are at Spirit Guide, we daze in doing. They can't draw any cards, so we have seven, they have zero, we say go. And they're mostly locked. There's our Commandeer. Yeah, I'll take that. It'd be pretty cool if we uh, could kill that Chalice the Void real easily. Hi. Maybe we should have a Microsynth thingy in our uh, in our uh, sideboard for scenarios just like this. You're dead. Yeah, see, this is what I was saying about spell-based decks. If our common deers are good, then life seems great. Alright. Um, Blood Moon Chalice deck. What do we want? The fourth common deer. I don't think killing Chalice is even that important. Spell Snare also seems just bad. Uh, I mean, it counters Chalice, but like, let's just cut our cut our one amount of cards anyway. So, Spell so Pierce is still good. Void Snare is fine. I don't hate Ancestral Vision, honestly. Um, this is bad against Chalice. They can just play it on zero. They might cut Chalice. I mean, they don't know we're not playing like Serum Visions and stuff, you know. Most blue decks play a lot of one drops. So I don't think I want explosives. I'll put the visions in. We can get EE with Karn, that is true. We do have two artifacts in our sideboard to get with Karn. Alright, we'll try this. Ka. 
Commandeer. Give me that. Well, we certainly can commandeer things, but we got a mulligan. Pleasure on Blood Moon. All right, uh, sure. I want to draw something relevant. That's not bad. Where that turn to Chandra at? Could we do that again? That was fun. Chalice on one. All right. No ones here. I feel like their cards aren't very effective against us. Um, all basics, no one drops. I kind of want to remand just to draw a card, honestly. Yeah, just do that. That's annoying. Whatever. Why is this so much fun? One drop and snap back? Or unsubstantiate, unsubstantiate. Oh. <laughs> like this is too much fun. I'm having the best time. Raise your hand if you're having a good time. Because this is just too much fun. Flameswalkers are popular. Commandeer is something else. Cool. Uh, Alright, take two. Blast zone, sure. That's awkward. Um, I think I want each player to draw, honestly. I just want to find some more lands. I'll just make red red and just draw cards. Like, I want them to cast things. I have Remand and Commandeer, so... Cool. Keep them coming. Yep. They want to blast zone away their own Chandra. It's fine. It's fine. Liquid metal coating. I mean, all right, sure. You got it. I think Chandra's a pretty good win condition. Uh, top card Ion, sure. Uh, ship Paternski here. Charge counter on Blast Zone. Yep. They've turned a lot of lands. So I can kill Chandra. It's fine. We have to click them. They have four cards in hand. One's a Blood Moon. Yeah, huh?
Blood Moon, sure. You don't care about this. Yeah, it's fun. Alright, click ya. Let's see what you got going on. Simeon Spirit Guide, a braid, gemstone caverns. Um we could just snap back our our click in response to the braid. I kinda think it's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave their hand the way it is. Engulf the shore. Alright. We could commandeer the abrade if we wanted to, but don't think that is necessary. Spirit Guide Abrade. Up, oh, you something. Oh my god, here comes something. Chalice the Void on three. That turns off my click if I want to recast it. I do have a number of threes in my deck, and once this is in play, I can't really do much about it anymore. But I guess it's not, I can't. I can't. I can. I can remand. Do I have remand? Sure. It's a pretty good remand. Six mana, just draw a card. Narset, cool. Notion Thief? They have a braid in their hand. We can counter that. Uh... I think I just cast Narset. Coding plus a braid is cute. Yeah, we have Shoal plus Snapback, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to cast Narset. We're going to minus. Vision Snapback. I think it's just Vision. Once the mode is set, you cannot choose another mode, correct? Coding, targeting, Narset. Alright, a braid targeting that will shoal. Pitch snapback. Obviously my ancestral vision is covered up, which is really annoying, but that's just magic online. We're used to arena. It's not like that anymore. A second abrade. Okay, so they have two cards left. Their two cards are Chalice of the Void, Simeon Spirit Guide. I can commandeer this if I want to and destroy something else. Or I can just let the Narset go. Um, we already have Notion Thief in our hand. Uh, Notion Thief is sort of like a Narset. The thing is they have Spirit Guide to block the Thief, so it's not like it's like getting in. I kind of leave Narset in play. And Gulf of Shore is basically worthless.
Yeah. I guess if we kill Coding, they have their Chalice in their hand anyway. Alright, sure, whatever. I'm gonna feel dumb if they, like, draw Chandra, but... No, I'm at the Chalice on one. It might, it might make them want to cast Chalice on one again. We have Vision on Suspend. Maybe maybe that was dumb. I don't know. We get to we have to activate Narset next turn, which is pretty big, so. I guess they have Spirit Guide. I'm not sure. Spell Pierce. Like if this Narset finds a days in doing it's just the best thing ever, you know? It whiffed. Alright, so I guess if it's gonna whiff, then yeah, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that. So They land car we have bigger problems. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just let it go and kept Commandeer in my hand. Now they have they have, they have huge top decks. Why swing? Because they're at seven, and I want to kill them. We had vision on three. They draw a car and we're dead. Like... All right, Chalice on three. Spell Pierce. Vision goes to two. That's not bad. Counter something. It doesn't counter a Karn, but... Chandra or Karn are the scary ones. They might go for a uh, ensnaring bridge, honestly, which we have covered. So walking ballista, sure. Oh yeah, I should have floated Matt. I guess they, they could have just went, went, went to post combat main phase. That static ability. But now I just kill Karn anyways. This is this is fine. Vision goes to one. Okay. That doesn't work anymore, sure. I mean, no Chandra, no Karn, please. Karn's a weird card. It's very, like, it is very annoying. Just feels like it's almost like meant to be annoying, you know? <sighs> All right. Back-to-back -back jacks here from our opponent. We vision next turn. If they had a bridge in their sideboard, they probably would have gotten it last time. So... They just gonna kill my land? Sweet. Sure. Trinisphere? Alright. I'm going to attack you twice and you're going to die.
Unsubstantiate shoal. Watery grave. Two ballistics in a sideboard? That would be pretty wild. That would be very surprising. Um, can't show anything across the three. This is not on right now. We can... Yeah, I mean, it just all depends on what they have in their sideboard, honestly. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I agree. I don't really know, like, what's fun about Karn, you know? Like, all right, they had a bridge. Uh, now what? Maybe I shouldn't have cast the, the Ancestral Recall. Maybe I should have just drawn a card. Because then I could have actually countered something. If I if I if I go to draw three, I can't actually do anything. So like Alright, I mean now I'm just sitting here trying to Draw some way to bounce in the snaring bridge. It's pretty fun. Uh, we lose a land every turn, too. Vision target opponent. That's cute. Mm. Now what are they getting? A probably welding jar or something. Micro. Oh, they have they have, they have lattice. Yeah, this is stupid. All right. Yeah. Like I don't know what they were thinking when they designed this card. I don't know what like they designed this card and they're like, this card is fun. This is a good, fun card. I'm glad we designed this card. You know. Mm, whatever I guess. All oh, right, Narsa turns up visions too. Anyway, I think the format of Karn's fine. That card's fun. The format of Karn is, is a lot of choices. Um, you have a choice every turn. Yeah, I think I think format of Karn is sweet. Yes, uh, Incognomite. It goes up, to, it goes up to tomorrow, I think. There's one video a day. And there was 10 decks, so it's just one video every day. It should be up to like, tomorrow every day after, I think. All right, sign me up. All right, Gemstone Caverns are revealing Blood Moon. That's fine. Spirit Guide, War Boss. All right, I mean, we can't beat a turn one War Boss, unfortunately. All right. Hmm. 
They play four war boss and four rab four rab four rabble master. What are you going to do? Commandeer is good against non-creatures and bad against creatures. Surprise! Who would have thought of that, you know, having actually read the card? But. Alright, so we are 1 and 3. Uh, the deck's super fun. I don't know how good it is, but it is really fun. Commandeering your opponent's stuff is really cool. Um... I don't really know if there's a way to make it better. Notion Thief seems kind of crappy. Maybe we can be like blue-white or something. I don't even know. Um, it's like obviously Supreme Verdict is kind of cool. It's also a blue card. Det Detention Sphere is kind of cool. Also a blue card. So you can like maintain the blue card count while still playing some actual kill spells. Could be a thing. Um, I don't know. We're playing two snapback, but like, I mean, it's two snapback. It's two unsubstantiated. They're also just bounce spells, you know? Yeah, I, I think Doja Thief is pretty bad. Uh, it's just like super, super finicky and doesn't do anything by itself, whereas Narset is just a good magic card. Narset's sort of like, you know, suspend dig through time. Nimble Obstructionist. And that card sucks. Alright, put it mulligan. Scrise to the top. Let's try and get this last one here. Hello, opponent. How do you do? Just want straight boomerang. Maybe, maybe boomerang is the way to go, honestly. Maybe you just want four boomerang in your deck, and you just try and bounce their lands. Bird's Paradise. Uh, Alright. No control. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks, sub. Appreciate that. You great. We have no lands in play. Night of Autumn. Can't get stone rained. That's pretty good. I'll buy that for a dollar.
double snap back. It's a thing. It's honestly pretty good. Matt, resub, nine months, sub baby, name it. Love this deck as soon as I saw it on the Moto 5 to 0 list. Thanks for keeping it fun, Jim. Matt, thanks for resubbing, my friend. What's the name of our sub baby? It's nine months. You gotta name it. Alright, so we get the combo here. Uh, which is cool. So they're going to lose their entire hand and draw one new card. I draw a full new seven. And we drew a shoal and a one and a two and a three and a four. Uh, I don't think I counter that. And go up the shore is pretty awkward with these border posts. All right, we're pretty close to assembling a lock here. You have lore broker and stuff. Commandeer seems bad. Snapback's kind of cool. Uh, you know, broker. So once we get them with no cards in hand, we get to broker in their draw stat. They discard the card they draw every turn. Should probably be the game. Other days I'm doing. So they have they still have cards in their hand. That's fine. Just play this untap probably. Uh, I think I just say go and then I draw step click them also. Border post is a blue card. That's all that you can pitch to blue. The, those blue spells. It's also fine with Narset. All right, so we say go. I guess if we the click, click and block. Okay, well, I snap back too. So, um, all right, so we say go. They are going to draw in their draw step. I cast click. Click is essentially thought seize because they can't draw another card. Sure. Lock them out. That was a good hand. That was a good hand. I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty good hand. No commandeering. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like playing a creature deck, so commandeers are really bad. Whenever commandeer is bad, I am sad. That rhymed. Um, explosives, damnation, threads. I guess we're cutting commandeer, unfortunately. It makes me really sad. Uh, blast zone is in. I guess this is actually worse. Yeah, it's part of the lock. Um, spell snare doesn't seem great. Notion Thief, I am not about. I am just not super interested in Notion Thief at all. Um, let's cut one Notion Thief. Smell there doesn't seem great either, but... John is dancing at the party. Not very well, but he's dancing at the party. I'm glad he's having fun. Pawn says, sorry, got to go, GG. All right, sweet. Book it. Scoreboard. It counts. We won the first game pretty handily. It counts. Our hand was 
pretty good. Two and one. I mean, two and three. Not ideal, but yeah, that deck seems super fun. Does seem pretty memey. Um, it just feels like if you're if Commandeer is good, the deck's like wow, and if Commandeer is not good, the deck's like ugh. Um, Narset is very good. I could definitely see just playing Boomerang. Uh, I didn't like Notion Thief. I don't like the Lore Broker that much either, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's a deck. It's cool. It's fun. I had fun. Um, technically, I went seven and six in games. Book it. Book it. Lore Broker is the point of a deck. I mean, kind of like I'm pretty happy just time twistering, and then they only draw one card. You know, that's pretty good. I don't think we need, like, the Lore Broker lock to win, you know? But, deck's really fun. Um, I'd give it a spin if you're looking for something a little wild and out there. I just like how outside the box this deck is. Uh, thinking, like, it just super outside the box, like, Commandeer, Disrupting Shoal, Days Undoing. It's just really, really cool. Just, like, a really, really cool deck. So, I like it. Regardless of how good it may or may not be. So, one more deck to play. That is the Neoform Counters deck. We're on our almost on hour 10 of the stream here. But YouTube folks, you gotta look at this one another video if you're watching on YouTube. The stream will continue, the YouTube video will not. YouTubers subscribe, Twitch people follow. You're all great. 